Web design as such used to be a really tough task, but thanks to WordPress's use of themes, which are design layout templates, this is going to become a lot easier for you guys in the future the more you work with WordPress. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to utilize the styling options of the default theme 2010, and other tutorials will be looking at how to add other themes to your website so you can use them, and even other tutorials I'll be looking at how to style those specific themes. Now let's look at the 2010 default theme here. From the dashboard you go to appearance and I just want to make you aware of this one point that 2010 is the one this the theme that WordPress comes with when you install it by default. It offers two options the background and the header option. All the other sub tabs under appearance which is themes, widgets, menus and editor are supplied by WordPress itself. Background and header are being generated by the 2010 theme. So depending on what theme you're using these options may not be there, other options instead may be there and even other themes, more complex often premium themes, have an extra tab at the very bottom here. Let's start with the background. If you click on it you can see a preview here of what your background on the front page is going to look like. So this is it. This is the background. The background is not the white space behind your posts or behind your sidebar or the white in the header. It is only this little top on the top here and the space on the side and this little snippet on the bottom here. That's what's called the background. The easiest option is that we have a color option here. So you go select color, you select whatever color you like, maybe like a bit of a bit of a pink thing here. Or you could have something like blue or a bit of a water green. Here green is always pleasing to the eye. You could just make it a bit off white. I think I'll I'll use something like a like a slight pinkish hue. You go save changes, refresh the front page and there you see this has changed. Keep in mind that if you use something rather drastic like a full on super green. This may not be the best idea for your readers because they might just walk away with a headache and go actually I can't look at this site for longer than three seconds. So let's select something that's a little bit a little bit more subtle. Something like this. Okay. Now the other option, let's quickly get rid of the green. Ah, much better. So the other option that you have is you can upload a background image and again you'll get this as a preview here. Let's start with a larger image like this one here and you click upload and there we go. This is a larger image now. You can't really see what's going on here so it works good with fuzzy images that just provide a bit of texture in the background. Notice that if you scroll your website at the moment the image stands still whereas the content scrolls. Notice also that you can still see a bit of background color that you've set earlier here where, where the image doesn't cover the website. There's a couple of other options here. You can set the image into the center. Okay, save changes and then you will see that the background color is now shining through on both sides, left and right here. You can also make it so that the image under attachment scrolls with the website. So depending on what kind of image you're providing, this image now scrolls with your website content. You can of course use a much smaller image and again let me just demonstrate this with my own portrait here. Upload. This would be a much too small an image in terms of pixel aspect ratio. You probably won't even see it. Yeah, you see it, it comes up here. Uh, so this is the original image here and, and this is what WordPress does with it. If it's a tileable image, you can select under display options, repeat. You can tile this. You can also tile it in just one direction or the other direction. We'll tile it in both directions. Hit save changes. Refresh our front end. And there it is. Granted, this may not be the most suitable image, but you get the point. This is a repeated image, small image that gets repeated throughout the site. And again, if you want to left align this, then the image starts at the very left hand side here. Okay, this is a JPEG image which covers the full pixel area, but you can also use other images like images that contain transparency values, like PNG images, like this one. This is a PNG image which contains the heart, but what you see as white here is in fact transparent. 
So if you upload that, you will see that the background color that you've set down on the bottom here is shining through the image. Okay, so save changes, and let's have a look. This works very well with the pink, I guess. So if you have a lovey-dovey partnership, whatever website, this <laughs> kind of works, uh, works very well, a heart and something pink. Again, let me demonstrate what happens if we change the color to something else, if we change it to uh, something more blue. Again, the preview on the top here lets you see how this change is going to affect your website. Click Save Changes and have a look at your handiwork. Okay, this is what the background option does. The other option that we have to style our website is the header part. And again, this is just as easy. You go into Appearance and Header. Keep it in mind, these are 2010 options. This does not come with every theme. This is the header you'll, you'll currently see. And 2010 provides you with a couple of other options for preset images here. So you, just, you can select one of the preset images, click on Save Changes, refresh your website, and there you go, different header image at your disposal. You may not want any of the default images, which is why 2010 gives you the option to upload your own image. This can either be exactly 940 by 198 pixels, or it can be bigger than that, in which case 2010 is kind enough to crop this for you. Let me illustrate this again with the Miami Beach Turtle picture here, this one. This is a much larger image, 1200 by 839 we're using. I'll upload this, and after the upload, I'm presented with a picture cropping dialog. See this thing here on the top? This is a box I can move and select the part of the picture that I'd like to appear as the header. So technically, this is kind of cool. I'd maybe like to size it down a little bit. So I've got the little guy, the little turtle here, crawling towards the beach. It's a very emotional moment when we watched that. It was really exciting. Crop and publish. Let's see what my header looks like. There we go. This is how you can upload your own image. Now, keep in mind, these are all 2010 options. This, not every theme supports this. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to upload themes from the WordPress repository and from other sources to your website. Mm -hmm.